Hello party people! My name is Carl Stolk and I'm a professional swimmer training and living in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. And probably much like you guys, I'm stuck in quarantine for the next few days, weeks, nobody really knows at this moment. Just trying to stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. Um, during the day, kind of like to kick off every day with a dry land routine. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. I've got my own little dry land of mostly flexibility, mobility that I want to share with you guys. It's going to take about 20 minutes. What we're going to do is about 45 seconds of exercise, 15 seconds of rest. I'm going to walk you through it, show you how it's done. What you're going to need is a dry land mat. If you have one, if not, a towel, just a plain old towel will suffice. Don't forget your water bottle. Stay hydrated. If you want, you can use a timer to time yourself. I've got my just a little phone with me and for the rest I wish you guys good luck and let's get to it. So first exercise, start with your feet shoulder width apart, place your hands flat on the ground, crouch down onto your toes and slowly stretch your legs while keeping your hands flat on the ground. Uh, you're gonna feel it in your hamstrings and make sure to keep a neutral head position so looking back to the wall or to whatever is behind you through your legs, breathe in, Breathe out and hold the position for a few seconds. From here you're going to walk with your hands into a plank position, make sure to keep your shoulders pressed out slightly, your hips slightly elevated and we're now going to go from a plank into a hook position or a downward dog I think it's called and back and forth holding every position for a few seconds, breathing deep in, breathing out and holding it. From here, you're gonna drop your hips down to the floor, bend your arms until you're lying flat in your stomach with your hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna push up, keeping your hips on the ground. You're gonna raise your head, looking up to the sky, open your mouth to get a little more stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, and then slowly lower yourself back down to the ground. From here, walk back with your hands and your hips until your hips are on your ankles. From here, you're gonna keep your hands stretched out in front of you with your hands in front of your shoulders, so shoulder width apart. And you're gonna slowly, from your hips, push yourself forward, sliding your hands and your chest over the floor, feeling the stretch in the back of your shoulders. And we're gonna hold the position for a few seconds and then pull it back in until you're resting with your hips back on your ankles and repeat.
From here, we're gonna go into a hands and knees position, back straight, chin slightly tucked in, and we're gonna open up by rotating with the right arm, touching the shoulder, reaching up to the sky, looking at your hand, and then following the same pattern back down, back into that hand and shoulder position. So heading back into our hands and knees position, again I'm now going to be opening up into the left side, so back straight, chin slightly tucked in, open up completely reaching to the sky, looking at your hand and then slowly bringing it back down to the ground. From here we're going to go into what we call an archer's position, so you're going to have one knee on the ground, the other leg is going to be in front of you in a 90-90 degree position, and from here you're going to push your hips slightly forward, feeling the stretch on your back leg on the front of your leg. Same exercise, arches position, but now on the other leg, so right leg behind, left leg in front, 90-90 degree, and then push your hips slightly forward, feeling the stretch on your back leg. I'm gonna head back into our hands and knees position, back straight. I'm gonna look up to the sky, making our back completely hollow, and then bring the head back down, looking through your legs to your toes, bringing your back into a completely bold position.
Next exercise, we're going to lie down on our right side with our knees bent in the hips and at the knees, so a 90 90 degree angle. Hands are in front of your shoulders, pointed away from you. We're going to open up, rotating your upper hand all the way through the air, down to the ground behind you, looking at the open hand, and then rotating back. Make sure to keep your knees pushed down against each other and into the ground. Same exercise but then on the left side. So bring your knees and into a 90-90 degree position. Hands in front of your shoulders. Open up the right hand. Bring it through the air all the way to the ground behind you. Keep it for a few seconds and then slowly bring it back. From here we're going to go into a seated position, so back completely straight, head reaching to the ceiling, arms are going to be sideways, one hand palm is going to be open, the other one is closed, so the closed one facing to the ground, the other one to the ceiling. You're going to rotate your arms and you're going to look to the open hand. We're going to keep seated but stretch those legs out in front of you. You're going to pull up your toes to the ceiling. Really feel the stretch on your hamstrings so at the back of your legs. And with a straight back you're going to reach forward, try and touch your toes, hold it for a few seconds and then come back to a nice straight position, keeping the back nice and straight. We're going to carry on through to a folded position, so start by lying flat on your back, bring your feet all the way from the ground over your hips, over your head, and try and get your feet to touch the ground above your head while keeping your hands in a streamlined position.
we're gonna lie down in a flat back position we're gonna bend the knees push your lower back into the ground one hand in streamline the one, other one next to your hip and we're gonna rotate this position don't forget like the backstroke thumb out pinky in So we're gonna head back into a seated position, whatever seated position you're most comfortable in. Uh, hands are gonna be in streamline, back straight, and we're gonna press the left shoulder out, bring it back in, push the right shoulder out, bring it back in, and repeat. From the seated position, bring your feet together into a butterfly pose. We're gonna press forward, reaching as far as we can, and then pulling it back in, reaching all the way to the sky, and really feeling that stretch. So lying flat on your stomach, shoulders and elbows in line with each other at a 99 degree angle, just like me, we're gonna press up the back, stretching out the neck, coming slightly off the ground, and really feeling that stretch in your upper back and lower neck. We're nearly there, our second to last exercise. So you're gonna come and sit at the front of your mat or your tail. You're gonna hug your knees and you're gonna, with a rounded back, just roll over and then roll back until your feet touch the ground again. Stretch up and then keep on rolling.
our last exercise for today you're gonna sit up straight whichever position you feel most comfortable in one hand in front one hand behind you you're gonna rotate by touching the shoulders bring the other hand in front the other one behind looking forward and reaching as far as you can That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to stay hydrated, keep drinking, for the rest, I wish you guys an awesome day, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I will see you soon, latest talk name.